Hey guys, so this is going to be a voiceover, but this is an eye tutorial. So, let's start. So first you're going to cover the white stuff with the white stuff on the eye with just white. You're just going to take off the shading. Basically, this, this is probably going to be really delayed also, so yeah. And I don't know what I'm doing. It's going to be on the first layer. Why am I clicking on the layer so much? I have no idea. But you're going to select your eyelid color or whatever it's called. And since I got black, then I just, I can't do anything about it. So you're just going to do the other eye. And you're just going to cover it. And oh my gosh, it's really bad, but it's fine. So you're just going to cover it and shade it and whatever. It looks really weird, but th that's fine. Uh, uh, never mind. You can add, no, you're still going to be on the same layer. You're going to blur it with opacity of 90, even though you worked really hard on it. it I know it, it's, it's whatever. I mean, it's a part of the thing. I mean, you don't have to. If you don't want to, it's fine. But if you want to follow it, then yeah. You're going to make a new layer. You're going to make it to multiply. I am way too slow on this. So, wait, mm, what am I doing? <laughs> Yeah, you're going to make it the layer to multiply. You're going to select your eyelid color, and then you're going to just cover only your eyelid part. I have no idea what I'm saying, so please correct me if I'm wrong on whatever I'm saying. You're going to erase the access. Access. Uh, mm, I don't know. But anyways, I'm using dip pen hard, in case you're running. And... You're going to make a new layer. It's going to be on add. And since the black color won't work on the multiply layer, then you're just going to do nothing about it. Once again, you're going to use the same color. You're going to put it on force fade. I'm really slow on this, so force fade. And you're just going to make a line. Well, a curvy thing. It's a semi-circle, a semi-oval. I don't know. You're just going to erase the excess. If you have any single hair that's blocking, so then you're going to add a new layer, and then you're just going to make it normal. You're not going to do anything. You're going to make it white for your little thingy majingies these little highlights. It's going to go directly above and down, below. You can do it to the same with your other eye, too. And then, yeah. So, I'll show you another example. It's a lovely new example, and it has no hair, so it's going to be way easier so you're just going to shade it, and I even added a pupil. So you're just going to shade in your white spots. Please tell me. And then you're just going to cover that part too. And I'm just going to do one eye so you can see the difference. And this is really unsmooth, Kaylee. What am I doing? And you're going to cover the other white spot too. It's not really stupid saying white spot. You're just going to cover the pupil. I got it a circle pupil which probably no one has because everybody has hybrid pupils stuff. Yeah, it's really unsmooth. Fix it. But yeah, that's what you're going to do. And then you're going to blur it once again. Bam. With your epoxy of 90, again. And then you're going to make a new layer. Put it on multiply. Use your same color, and then you're just going to cover it. Up. If this does not make sense, I am very sorry. Just look at the video because I'm really bad at explaining. <laughs> and then you're gonna do that layer to add. You're gonna use the same color and force fade. And then you're just gonna make that. And then if you wanna make that other part, that multiply layer, darker, well, longer, you can layer it's gonna be normal and then you're just gonna add a dot that isn't that big just like so and also you're gonna click on your skin outline and I didn't do that before cuz I um cuz I had hair blocking it so you're gonna put it you're not gonna put it here cuz it's the wrong spot so I'm just gonna speed up this part Okay, sorry, I did this wrong. I did the, obviously, I did the, um, what is that called? 
the skin outline part wrong. I'll show you an example of how I know I got it wrong because, yeah, clearly I got it wrong. But then, yeah, I'm just going to cover it for the sake of this. I'm very sorry. And then, don't mind that notification. I'm splitting this into different parts, so don't mind that. You're just going to make your... Uh, I also forgot something else. I'm very slow. You're making another, another layer on multiply, and then you're just going to cover it. You're going to get a shade of purple, and then you're... Blah, 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 blah. You're going to get another shade of purple, and you're going to cover the whole entire eye. And you can lower the opacity if you want. I changed the opacity, tra changed the opacity to 51, and I put it right under under the layer that has the highlights. Oh my gosh, that was really fast of me talking. But yeah, anyways, you're going to go to the... You're going to get your skin outline layer, skin outline color. You're going to put it outside. It's going to be near your tip or your point. I have no idea what I'm saying, but yeah, that's what you're going to do. And that's it. I'll show you other examples of the thumbnail and all that stuff.